Now before I start this video, let me start off by saying that no matter what happens, GTA 6 is going to sell so many copies. Rockstar could sell literally GTA 6 with a piece of shit on the cover and it still would sell millions and millions of copies. So when I say GTA 6 might fail, it's not actually going to fail financially by any standard, no matter what it is, but we're talking about the actual content and direction of Rockstar. And that's what we're going to be going over today. What's going on ladies and gentlemen of the internet, I'm Trello. Welcome back to a brand new video guys. I made a new discord. If you guys want to join go down the description you can find the link there and join up my server we're talking all the time playing games come check it out so gta 6 we know pretty much nothing about gta 6 we have rumors that the game might take place in the 70s and 80s and across different countries and different settings in general we know that potentially the story could be about building up a drug empire and all these are rumors all these are subject to change but from what we know so far this seems to be true now in a gta discord discussion i saw a lot of people worried about the time period i've heard some people complaining about the decade being in the 70s and 80s and them not really liking that time period for a new game to operate in. Now one thing for sure is that it is way too early to see if they're going to pull off the decade correctly. I understand the perspective of people worrying about those time periods from like a vehicle and gun standpoint. Like all the cars will be old fashioned, there's not really going to be the same customization because it's just earlier in time. The guns will be closer to what we see in the game like Black Ops Cold War. And pretty much all the past GTA games have always been modern games in a city with modern vehicles, modern weapons. So the first game for GTA to go back in time people might be a little bit worried about it but they pull off games like Red Dead Redemption 2 fine and that's even further back so I think GTA in the 70s and 80s it will be okay now, according to a leak on Game Informer Rockstar plans to make GTA 6 more of a service game so it's not going to launch with a ton of content and this is where we start to get into the bulk of the issues we saw only a couple days ago Cyberpunk 2077 release and on that release people were extremely underwhelmed even though the game's pretty okay the two main reasons the game was underwhelming was one, because The Witcher 3 was overwhelmingly positive and an amazing game, and two, the game was in development for seven years. There's no doubt when we start getting closer to GTA's reveal, there will be a ton of hype, and let's hope that it doesn't suffer the same problem that Cyberpunk had on launch. GTA 5 Online is massive and filled with content, from bunkers and special vehicle cargos and a ton of vehicles, a ton of different weapons, ton of different missions and heists, yachts, nightclubs, being the CEO of an entire company. Now, we had all all that content but then Red Dead Redemption 2 came out and introduced their online mode and a lot of people looked down on it simply because it didn't have that same amount of content it didn't feel as lively it just didn't feel nearly anywhere as good as GTA 5 online it's because Rockstar had the intention to add content over time and people perceived that as it being unfinished and dog now the reason GTA 6 might suffer this same fate is because GTA 5 is still adding new content to this day they are still stacking on top of the pile of what GTA 6 is going to be compared to in a couple years. Don't get me wrong, I'm not going to tell Rockstar to stop adding content to GTA 5. The heists and everything they add are usually awesome, except when they're overpowered and an oppressor. But if you think about it, everything they're adding to GTA 5 can technically take potential away from GTA 6. I mean, it's crazy that they're even continuing DLCs and content seven years after the game came out. We say Rainbow Six Siege has long support, but in reality, I really am worried. Big games like this that have massive anticipation usually don't get received well by everyone just because people's expectations are too high. And don't get me wrong, Rockstar often delivers. And I have no doubt that the campaign in single player modes will be fantastic stories. But for GTA Online, if there's not a lot of base content, I think the game might be received poorly at the start, which may inflict the game sales overall. I think it's smart that they go back to the 70s and 80s like we said earlier. They do need to change it up a little and it'd be interesting to see what a more retro type shooter is from GTA and Rockstar. Without going too far back to Red Dead Redemption 2 but still staying in the time period where GTA can still happen. When GTA 5 first launched, the online mode was pretty vanilla and straightforward. It wasn't a ton of content but people could see the potential and it definitely lived up to it. But it also had the advantage of nothing else really being like GTA 5 online. There was no really other game besides maybe Gary's Mod or Arma 3 roleplay that you could hop into and have an entire city to grow in. It was just a sandbox with a ton of other online players and there was really no experience like that. And there's still really aren't many like it today. Nonetheless guys, be hyped for GTA 6, but make sure you understand what I said in this video. Understand it's going to be a service game. There's not going to be anywhere near the amount of content that GTA 5 has right now at launch for GTA 6. But who knows, we still got a long way to go. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and tell me what you think of GTA 6 and how it's going to release. Without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.